hi how are you wherever you are watching this video from this is uh sichamba jacob okay so right about now i i'm inviting you to watch on how to solve these two questions on a speed time graph okay so before you can even attempt before you try to do anything that you uh, you're thinking or anything that you wish you so wish to do on this question the first thing must be to understand the formulas that you must uh, use so the first formula will look like this okay so uh, i won't say much about this formula uh, in that uh, this is a formula you use to find acceleration and the first question wants us to find uh, acceleration if you don't want to use this formula, you can use this other one. I guess uh, you have come across uh, this formula somewhere. Of course, this is a formula for finding a gradient of a straight line. Okay. So uh, you can pick whichever you so wish to work with. So let me go with this one and then I'll come to this one. Um, so for this one, you need to identify your final velocity, initial velocity, and the time of which in the question they have said uh, two seconds. So if you check nicely here, this is zero. This is where zero is going up, up to here. So the velocity, final velocity is a 10, okay? So we will just say 10 minus uh, a zero. The initial velocity here is zero over a two there. You work out, you find that eh, your answer will be 5 meters per second squared. Remember the units, it's uh, meters per second squared. And how do you tell the units to use? Uh, we've been given the velocity here, there's meter, meters per second. And here for time, it's seconds. So meaning the units for our acceleration will be meters per second uh, squared. Let's try to go by this. So for this one, the first thing must be to identify the coordinates. Where is it starting from? This is 0, 0, and here it's a 2, 10, okay? So let me just write here so that you can see. This is a 0, 0, the first, second is a 2, 10. So 2 right here, comma, a 10 there. So now you plug them in. So I have 10 minus 0 over 2 minus 0. So if you don't know how to find uh, a gradient or how to use uh, this formula right here, just stick to this one. It will be much easier for you. So I've answered question A, either by this method or this method. Let's go to question uh, B. So for question B, they want to find the distance, total distance. So from here up to somewhere here, what is the distance? So now when, when trying to find the distance, uh, I recommend you use or the method must be to use the formulas for finding areas of uh, the shapes that we're able to see. So if you can see, there is a triangle here, there is a rectangle, there is a trapezium here. So you can use area for finding this plus area for finding this plus area for finding this. But if you don't want to waste uh, much of your time looking at how the shapes are, if you can see this is a, a trapezium and this is also a trapezium. So we'll just go with the formula for finding uh, area of a trapezium. So this is the formula. So we we'll say uh, distance to the same the same formula, we need to use it because we have got two trapeziums. There is this one and this one. You see this one here and the other one right here. So let's start with the first one. We call this one D1. This is D2. So we find D1 first. Uh, don't get confused of this. This is just a comma to indicate that I have something else here and something else here. So distance 1 there, we put... Uh, here is a 4 plus here is a 6 times 10. 
So you may be wondering that how am I identifying these? So the A, I've, I've, I've just gotten the difference, okay? Or the main key or the important thing that you must be putting in your head is to identify the parallel lines of the trapezium you're dealing with. So I've identified this and this. These two are parallel lines. So now what is the distance from here to here? So you just get the number that is here, 6, minus the number that is here, it's a 2. 6 minus 2 is a 4. So this is how I came up with a 4. And then from here to here, the other parallel line, it's a 6. Not B, but a 6. So from here to here is a, a 6. And then for the height, the, the, uh, the distance between uh, two parallel lines. So from here to here, what is the distance? It's a 10 there. So we work out things. This 2 into 2, 1 into 10, it's 5 because there is a multiplication. These brackets, they mean multiplication. So what is inside the brackets here? What do we have? We have uh, a 10, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, a 10 uh, times 10 times 5, which is equals to 50. So our distance 1 is a 50 meters. So if this graph ended here, we could have said this is the total distance. But there is something up to here. And if you can see the shape which is here is a, uh, also a trapezium. So we will continue here. What is our A? Our A will be a 10 plus a 20. Our height will be a 2. Okay. So also, let me just go through on how I have identified this. A is, uh, you check the parallel lines. There is this and this. So the shorter one, it can be your A. So from here to here, it's a 10. And then from here to here, it's a 20. That's where the 20 has come from. And then the height now, it's like this. The distance between two parallel lines from here to here. So now it's going like this. So what is the difference? There's 8, there's 6. So the difference from here to here or from here to here is a, um, it's a, it's a, it's a 2. So now these 2 and 2 can cancel because of the brackets. This shows that we are multiplying. Here we're getting a 30. So it's 30 meters. So distance 2 is 30 meters. Now to show the total distance, we need to add these 2, which will give us uh, 80 uh, meters. Because 50 plus... Uh, plus 30 is 80 meters. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, advise if you can. Thank you. Bye-bye.